We've got several other applications of integrals that we want to talk about in this section. The next one is looking at the idea of useful life. So the useful life of some income producing item can be solved, can be found by solving r prime of t equal to c prime of t. So essentially, t representing the amount of time we want to operate some machine, some item, we want to take the marginal revenue, set it equal to the marginal cost. So when is the rate of change of our revenue equal to the rate of change of our cost? And we're going to want to solve this for when t is greater than 0. So obviously we're thinking about some time that's going to be greater than 0. We're going to operate it for at least a month or at least a year. So in this case, we want to find the total accumulated costs in thousands of dollars um, for, photocop for a photocopying machine that satisfies these two uh, marginal costs and marginal revenue functions. So first we want to find the useful life of the machine to the nearest year. So in this case we want to solve t, we want to solve 1 over 30 t cubed equal to 7 t cubed times e to the negative t to the fourth for t greater than 0. So in this case, we get a result of 1.5. And again, always a good idea to double check this input, make sure these functions match what you were expecting to put in. We get a result of 1.5. So rounding that to the nearest year, the useful life of this machine is going to be approximately two years. So then what we want to do is find the total profit accumulated during the useful life of the machine. So that would mean finding our profit function evaluated at two years minus our profit function evaluated at zero years. We don't have the profit function, but we do know that profit is revenue minus cost. So marginal profit would be marginal revenue minus marginal cost. So to find this change or increase in our profit, we can integrate from 0 to 2 our marginal revenue, our prime of t, minus our marginal cost, c prime of t, to generate that result. So what we'll do is integrate 7t cubed times e to the negative t to the fourth minus our marginal cost function for t equals 0 to 2. So in this case we get a result of 1.6167. So the total profit accumulated during the two year useful life of our, our machine is going to be 1.6167. But those values are in thousands of dollars. So really this is approximately 1,000 617 dollars if we multiply this by a thousand. So total profit accumulated during that two-year period will be approximately 1,617 dollars rounded to the nearest dollar. 